Hello, epic world of the airgun shooters. Welcome in epic airguns factory. Uh, we are making this video because we want to update you about the progress of our weapon construction and manufacturing. You had a chance to see us first time this year on EVA in Nuremberg in Germany. And we promised that we will bring the air guns to the market as soon as possible. We need to apologize a little bit for delays because we set ourselves inside of our team that we will not put the gun on the market unless we are 100% sure that the gun is tuned best and works best. We have good air consumption according to the power of the gun. So we uh, changed few things from the IVA, uh, not the introduced functionalities, but mainly the design of the parts and tuning of the parts. So we are sure that we are introducing on the market something which make really sense these days. So front of us, uh, as you saw also in Norbank on EVA, we have Epic 2 which is the air gun which will be produced uh, in multiple lengths of the barrel, in multiple lengths of the air reservoir, multiple types of the reservoir. I will mention it a little bit later. But the lengths of the barrel, uh, we are starting on 30 centimeters barrel. This is this version. It is easier for me to manipulate with the gun. That's why we have here this 30 centimeter barrel version. Uh, we will have also 55 centimeter barrel version and 70 centimeter barrel version. Uh, apologies, I don't know the length in the inches. So for US market, you need to <laughs> make some calculations from centimeters conversions to, uh, to, to inches. Uh, we will be putting in the gun a uh, lot of water barrels, polygon, which we tested with majority of the Diablo from JSB, from HNN, and from other major manufacturers. We are also testing all the slugs. So we are now sure that this gun can be able, uh, is able to shoot both pellets and slugs, just with different tunes, which I will mention a little bit later. We will be also having option to choose between two type of the barrels. We will be using CZ2B barrels and, as I mentioned, lots of Walter polygons. So in our configurator, you will have a choice to select what is your preferred barrel, what you are actually used to shoot, maybe from, from your past. So it's, it's uh, very easy to choose. Uh, to say something about the gun. The gun, uh, you will have an option to, to buy it with our own silencer, which is very effective. You will be also able to buy the gun with one and a half inch UNF conversion. So the gun will basically look like this. And then you will be able to mount your own silencer, Donny Fly, or whoever you want to use. So this is this is very easy conversion. Then, what is specific on this gun is that we have carbon fiber shroud, which allows you to do barrel tangenting. So we are not using uh, for harmonic tuning any. Uh, weights, which is like movable on the on the barrel, but you can actually make specific tension of the barrel, like guitar spring, to find the point where the harmonic tuning wave is in ideal position, where actually projectile is leaving the barrel. So you can do your own tuning of your barrel harmonics for precise shooting on 
any type of the car uh, target you, you like. Then we have, of course, ambidextrous side cocking lever, which you can easily move to the other side of the air gun for left-handed guys or whoever, you know, someone likes to have the cocking handle on the right side, someone likes to have it on the other side, so you are free to, to change it to, uh, to your likings. Then we have a perfectly tunable uh, modular trigger system where you can choose the angle of the trigger for your type of the pull. Then you can choose the first step and second stage of the trigger and also you can regulate between like 400 grams to 80 grams. So it's really like for, for precise sport shooting. Then we have a R15 safety mechanism here on the gun. So we have different selection or of a R15 grip compared to the basic one. We have a R15 grip from uh, Hoke. So we have OD green, we have FDE, and we have black. And then we have some other accessories like grip from Mr. Klinsky, which is very well known to do some nice uh, lamina grips. And then um, to mention also, as you can see, it's standing on a tripod. We have as a part of the gun Arca Swiss rail with T-rail inside. And to this T-rail, you can actually put this palm rest filling for comfortable handling of the gun when you're shooting without tripod. So this is very nice. And then also from Mr. Klinsky, we have cheek piece. And we will have also butt pad. So we will have different colors. We have this red color. And then we will have uh, the forest green color also. Um, so it's, it's very, uh, very uh, nice tunable gun. Then you can see also that we have some basic. We have some basic back rider. Sorry for the voices, we are still in our company, so a little bit of air. So we have basic back rider, but also you will have an option to buy this adjustable back rider where you can very easily adjust the, 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 uh, accordingly to, to your table for precise aiming. So. This is something what you can also have as an accessory. And then you can see that you have some possibility to have also the basic one. Then adjustable cheek piece, show you. So according to your face shape, you can, you can tune the cheek piece exactly where you need it, then of course somebody is shorter, somebody is a little bit longer, so you can you can adjust also the butt pad. So it's fully adjustable, customizable stock, and stock will come also in two options. One is the narrow stock as you see it, and the other one is that you can use a break opening and closing stock where you can easily make the gun shorter if you want to put it to your backpack. So if I remove the gun from Arca Swiss Rail, I can show you. This is how it looks where you close the gun. So it's very short, it clicks, it doesn't move. So it's very compact, and if you want to shoot, you simply can shoot very, very easily. It's very comfortable. As you, key, as you see, I can do it with one finger. I don't want to shoot because I have air inside. 
Maybe I can shoot, you can see the voice. So this is how it works very easily. The safety also works perfectly. So very, very nicely comfortable, adjustable gun. So in regard of the adjustability, I have to say that here we have a space where you can put, for example, this hex key and you can adjust the spring tension. So you can adjust accordingly your, your spring tension to your regulated air. And we are actually coming to the externally adjustable regulator, which is here. So you can use a special key, which we will deliver, and you can regulate your air pressure in the power plenum between 80 to 190 bars very easily. From this short gun, 30 centimeter barrel, you can shoot like three in five, in, in 22 caliber, you can shoot like three magazines in 35 joules um, and one magazine have 11 shots inside. So it's, it's very nice. The maximum power which you can tune on this gun uh, is with factory settings and factory uh, uh, regulator settings and factory valve system settings, because I will talk about valve system a little bit later, you can do like 48, 50 joules. If you want to shoot more, like up to 60, then you will need to change and tune some parts. Of course, only in countries where it is allowed, because some of the countries are law prohibited to have more than 16 joules, more than 7.5 joules. Again, not saying in the foot pounds. So there is adjustability. Inside the gun, except the externally adjustable regulator, is also balanced valve system. Balanced valve system allows you to ease out to the spring and to the hammer. That's why cocking is really very easy. And we are limiting the space of, of the air pressure, which is closing the valve to the minimum. And we are actually able to time our valve closing by exchangeable jets with different diameter of the jet hole inside. So the bigger diameter is, the quicker is closing the valve. So if you want to tune your gun for more air efficiency and a little bit lever, a little power, more shots, or for example, you will never shoot slugs and you will shoot only lightweight Diablos, you can if the original tune from the factory is not enough for you and you can increase the efficiency, you can, of course, exchange the jet in the valve system. So this is to the, uh, this is to, to the gun functionality, what it's reside of. So exchangeable barrels, different lengths of the barrels, Exchangeable calibers, if you want, you can buy a kit for 4.5, 5.5, or 177 uh, caliber, 22 caliber, 30 caliber, and 35 caliber. This is the calibers we will be producing the guns. So you will simply exchange the needle, which is pushing the projectile to the barrel, you will exchange the transfer port in the barrel and the barrel itself. To exchange the barrel, it's very easy. You simply unmount the barrel from the gun, 
take different barrel and exchange it. We will make more videos how to exchange the pins, push pallet pins, and the barrels accordingly. We will, of course, do some videos about regulator, about exchanging the position of the cocking lever, exchanging the push pin, pins, pallet push pins, and then we will do also some nice video about the adjustment of, of the valve system. So if you want to tune your barrel tensioning system, we will give you a tool, not like this one I'm showing you, which perfectly fits to these four holes. And then you will use 17 millimeter key and you can do the barrel tensioning. Actually, I can show you how it looks inside. So this is the Lothar Walter 30 centimeter barrel. So this is how it assembled. So barrel, then you have the body part, then you have the part which touches the transfer port inside the body. And then you have this part with the thread. And this is actually how you can easily tune your barrel tensioning. So either you leave it like very small tensioning or you can do much more or you can, even you can do it with the specific tool much harder. Don't be surprised if I tell you that over tensioning of the barrel is not always good. So you will need to find what works best for you. We will do the specific factory adjustment which works best for majority of the projectiles. You will be shooting either pellets or, or slugs. But really, if you need to fine tune for some very heavy long slugs, typically you need to play with that. So this is the this is the pretangent barrel system uh, about the air tanks. So as you can see, we have standard air tanks which are tested for 300 bars. So you can fill these air tanks with 300 bars pressure. Uh, we have different lengths of the air tanks and different uh, volume of the air in the air tanks. So this is 130 cc air tank on 30 centimeter barrel version. This is very small, but uh, we, can, we can shoot uh, three 11 shots magazines uh, at 35 joules uh, very easily. And uh, like two magazines, like 22 shots uh, around 45 joules, which is for this volume of, of the air tank, uh, very good result. Uh, to mention power plenum, uh, here on 300 uh, uh, millimeter barrel version or 30 centimeter barrel version, we have uh, 55 uh, cubic centimeters power plenum. Uh, in longer version, 55 centimeter barrel length, we will have 113 cubic centimeters power plenum and double of the size of the standard air tank, which is 260 cc. And uh, uh, 
there you can shoot uh, like maximum power in five, uh, 22 caliber 105 joules, uh, which is uh, amazing on such length of, of the barrel. Of course, you will be limited uh, by the number of the shots because your regulator pressure will be very high. But for that reason, we actually have an option to get those. Carbon fiber bottles, we will have for short version barrel, three, 30 centimeter barrel, we will have 300 cc, 300 bar carbon uh, fiber uh, bottle. And for 55 centimeter barrel and 700 centimeter barrel, uh, we will have 480 cc bottle or 700. Uh, CC bottle, 300 bars. From the energy perspective, uh, to mention 25 caliber, we have tested uh, 55 centimeter barrel can achieve easily uh, 127 joules, which is uh, a lot. Uh, but I presume that all shooters are not hungry only about energy, but precise shooting, so you can really tune your gun for precise shooting and to use this crazy energy for very uh, heavy projectiles like slugs. What to mention, I showed you at the beginning uh, our silencer, our one and a half UNF reduction, but I have to show you this little boy. This is muzzle brake. This is also accessory, which you can order. It's beautiful, it's nice, it's loud, and it cuts the air perfectly. So it's very nice accessory for precise shooting. So to, to summarize, you will be able to buy the gun from 177, 22, 25, 30, and 35 caliber. Now we are ready to be shipping the first guns in September, which is good. As I mentioned at the beginning, we wanted to make sure that all is working well that we don't have any issues, any problems, uh, because we don't want to put on the market something which simply doesn't work, and we don't want you to be beta testers of something which needs to be tuned in the future uh, with buying uh, too many new components. So this is, uh, this is great. It's completely adjustable air gun where you can uh, change the calibers, change the barrel lengths, change the power plenums, change the bottles, ambidextrous scocking lever on both sides, right hand, left hand, fully adjustable modular trigger, AR-15 safety, fully adjustable cheek piece, fully adjustable buckstock, uh, exchangeable AR-15 grips, uh, and of course we have uh, Arca Swiss rail with T-rail inside, but this is what I have mentioned. So um, I think this is everything what I can say just now simply about the gun and functionality. And let's move uh, in next video uh, to show you how to get inside and show you a little bit of the internals, such a small teaser for you, what to expect from the gun. Thank you.